I didn't really choose it. I think it kind of chose itself because, you know, when you do a single for an album and it's a radio track, you usually go with something that's kind of a representation of the album as a whole. You, you know, you don't want to have your heaviest song be your first song you go to radio with because people would drive off the freeway, you know. We picked Super Collider because it's melodic, it's heavy, it's upbeat, it's uplifting, the lyrics are positive, and I think that it, it's a song that people don't expect from us. It's pretty simple, it's boy meets girl, they're destined to meet somehow, but they're not your average students. They're kind of, you know, off the beaten path, not very popular. They're into science, which, you know, um, the greatest minds of the universe have brought us to where we're at right now with the technology that we're all using right now. That's part of the reason why the record's called Super Collider, because I love the technology of that, that beast over there, the, the Super Collider itself. The song kind of uh, is not really connected to the Super Collider itself, except for the metaphor of like having a, a, you know, an episode where it's climactic and, and it sort of an explosion of sorts, which is like the atom smashing inside of the Super Collider. The two meet, they're torn apart, and we'll see each other again until adult life. And uh, during the process, they're doing a science project where they're shooting a rocket. That's metaphoric with, again, with the super collider and the explosion and everything. During today's shoot, we're filming in an environment where they're supposed to be seeing these two kids. And I'm the dad of the, the girl the young boy kind of falls for. I walk in, I see them, and I get upset, grab her, stomp on the rocket, throw her in the back of the station wagon, and then uh, storm off in the car. I mean, it's not really hard to have your dad drag you by the arm and be thrown in the back of a car. I think that's kind of normal nowadays. She's very convincing the way she was looking back at the other uh, supposed actor, her boyfriend, and, and her face when she was in the back of the station wagon looking out the window because of how exotic her eyes are. It really seemed like she was mourning, you know, driving away from this relationship. We were trying not to have your typical metal video, you know, with topless nuns and, you know, disemboweling virgins and stuff like that because, you know, it just is so limiting and the performance videos after a while you know there's only so much you can do with holding a guitar and shaking your hair around so we wanted to do something that was pretty cool that people would say wow you know that's a really interesting video the funnest part about this video shoot so far is knowing that David Ellison, Chris Broderick, and Sean Drover are in a room down there signing a couple thousand album covers and I get to be out here with you guys. 